Barack Obama is supposed to campaign for Fetterman on November 5th. Will this go forward? Does the former president believe this is appropriate? We shall see. What do you think will happen? I don't think he can cancel. You too? I agree. You agree? The Fetterman campaign, but but he will look ludicrous. He, he's in a no-win position, Obama, which is rare for him. The Fetterman campaign has refused to release his medical records or make his doctors available to the media. Giselle Fetterman, his wife, has said it is bigotry, ableism, to suggest her husband may not be fit to serve. She has gone so far as to shame NBC News reporter Dasha Burns, who bravely did her job when she interviewed Fetterman and remarked that he didn't seem to understand her questions. Mrs. Fetterman even demanded there be consequences, quote-unquote, for Burns having said so. Which brings me, she writes, to my second point about Tuesday night, the exposure of egregious media malpractice. There were too many so-called reporters to count who vouched for John Fetterman. Remember their names, Molly Jung Fast, Kara Swisher, Rebecca Traster, and John Hendrickson, just to name a few. Hardly anyone came to Dasha Burns' defense. In fact, major media figures like Swisher brought out the pitchfork and claimed the reporter was to blame. Maybe Burns is bad at, quote, small talk, tweeted Swisher. The message was clear. If you dare to report on Fetterman's condition, your career is in jeopardy. Potentially one of the most egregious examples of media malpractice was committed on the part of MSNBC. A source told DailyMail.com that in three of four interviews that John Fetterman conducted on the cable news network between the time of his stroke and the Burns interview, closed captioning was used and not disclosed to the audience. The sheer ugly truth? is the media didn't want to know because this Senate seat is too critical to them. It gives Democrats a chance to hold on to the Senate, so the vast majority of those in the media don't want to consider whether a candidate who suffered a stroke is healthy and fit to survive. Because the media do for the Democratic Party what the communist media did in the Soviet Union for the Communist Party. I draw no distinction. Do you? Did Pravda ever differ with the Communist Party? Does the left-wing media ever differ with the Democratic Party? Maybe, but I can't remember an instance. <laughs> 